Remember, if you're trying to go from left to right, that's what you're creating there. If you're going from there to there to there to there to there. Today's pad work drill, we're going to put together a couple combinations that Canelo Alvarez threw against Matthew Hatton, Ricky Hatton's brother. And he throws two combinations and we just make it a drill. Me and Danny try to be creative and we try to put little things together, different combinations. And the way that, the way that combination, the way those two combinations, he throws a right hook to the body, right uppercut against Matthew Hatton, real nice and slick. And then the other combination that he throws, he throws a left hook to the ball, to the head, and then he comes back with a left hook to the body, right hook to the body, left hook to the head. And Canelo is able to put together beautiful combinations. I mean, and the reason that people don't realize, not only, you know, he's a very good athlete, and he has great anticipation, has a ton of experience, but he has the foundation that I teach. He really does. He has that old school foundation. He, he, he knows how to twist and be in position for punches and have leverage on every shot. He knows that, that his basic foundation where his left shoulder is higher than his right shoulder. And I, I'm going to teach every punch. I'm coming up with my instructional videos very soon where I'm going to break down every punch, the footwork to every punch, and how you really develop that strong foundation in every punch. And that's what makes you maximize, that's what makes you maximize your potential. So what we're working on here with this drill is, I got the body shield on, and you can do this drill without the body shield as well. So just to show you in slow motion, and, and I'm actually going to turn Danny here and show you, you can see the beginning of this combination. And the angle from here is that he throws a right hook to my body, okay, which creates my arm down, he's going to throw a right hook cut up the middle, okay. Then from there, that combination right there is one that he used against Hatton, real nice. Throw right hook to the body, come back with the back, okay? Then the other combination that he put together was he throws a left hook to the head, then he throws a left hook to the body, and a right hook to the body, and back with a left hook to the head. So he goes left hook to the head, left hook to the body, right hook to the body, right hook to the head. So what he's doing there again is he's doing an up down. He's going one up, he's going one up. Two down and one up again. Okay, so he's bringing your eyes down, bringing your hands, putting you in position where he wants you. So he's really being creative with that. He, he's throwing, he's throwing down up again. He's up with the first combination. So he goes down, up, then up, down, down. See, so it's down, up, up, down, down. See, again, down, up, up, down, down. Okay. Really, you think that? First time I saw him, I said, here's a guy who's going to be on the top pound for pound this. Not because of his offense only, but because of his defense. If you look at this kid here, he's different because he don't care about defense. He'll be in the top five pound for pound most exciting fighters around, that's for sure. And the top, and the top five best punches for his weight. Like I said, to reiterate what he's doing there, again, he's going once to the body, once to the head. Another one to the head, then two to the body. Shooting the body down low, right? He's bringing the hands back down so he can come back over the top, okay? And if you watch his footwork and his foundation on that, you know, when he throws that right hook to the body, he can rotate those toes to his, where his fist is at, okay? Toes to the target of where his fist is at. And then he comes back and he can throw a right uppercut and do the same thing. So when he brings that right hook to the body, and he brings the hand back, he's putting that foot back flat on the floor again, and he's throwing a right uppercut, okay? So, he, he, you know, if he, if, and that's if he's throwing, he's throwing two hard shots there. Like, he could keep that right foot on the ground as well, and just, he could keep the right foot and just touch a guy, and then, and then throw the right uppercut, and maybe, maybe he cranks the uppercut, but he doesn't crank the hook, he can go there, and he can turn the toe on the uppercut, okay? But for, for this drill, we're cranking on all these shots. He throws a right hook to the body, right up the top, okay? He turns that toe, turns the toe on the left hook to the body. Then he changes, he changes his shoulder trajectory 
where his right shoulder was higher than his left shoulder. He's going to left hook to the body, right hook to the body, and sit left hook to the head. Okay? So he, he's, he's flip flop in reverse. Just go slow. You get it slow down and show. Up, 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 down, up, up. All right. So when he throws this one, right shoulder is lower than the left. Throws this one. That's it, right up to the body, right uppercut, and still it's lower than any throws, and he throws that. And, you know, like I said, again, shoulder protection on the hook. Then now he's gonna flip-flop reverse. Right shoulder's high up on the left, left hook to the body, flip-flop that right, right hook to the body, left hook to the head. And if he's back that left hook to the head, in the same position, he can throw a right hand or he can throw a right uppercut. Okay, because he's throwing the punches correctly. So if you don't have a body shield, you could use, just use this and do this on the pads as well. So we could do this on the pads. We're going to throw right up to the body, right up and up. See that? Right up. Body. You watch Danny's shoulders change. See, he changes. Now he flips there and he back. Okay? So when he goes here with that left hook to the body, he throws that left hook to the body, which I can hold the pad a little lower. Left hook to the body, but now when he goes to throw the left hook to the body, now he's going to go back there again to throw the right hook to the body, and then he's going to do that. See? So he's going right uppercut, right hand, nice and flip flop, flip flop again. See? Okay, so he's going right hook, right uppercut, flip flop, flip flop again. Keep everything in tight, everything tight. Always keep things tight. Okay, no gaps. I'm going to do it again. And Let's throw the left hook of the body a little lower. So we're going from here, down, down, here, down, here, down, see here, shoulders in, see? See, that's the key too when you guys are working with your fighter. Keep on seeing where his shoulders are, see where his body's at. You know, try to keep vision on that. People just hit the pads and they're just doing all kinds of things. And the guy's totally out of position. He's sloppy. He's not doing anything right. And they just keep on running these numbers. They just keep on running punches to punch. And the kid's not learning anything because he's not learning where his leverage is supposed to be, where his positioning is supposed to be. See, I always try to get the ending. I try to watch his shoulders. I try to watch his feet. And that's why pad work can be horrible if you don't do those things. Pa pad work is way overrated if you're not doing those things. It's better to have vision and see the guy's footwork and see everything and watch the guy hit the heavy bag. But if you can't realize what he's supposed to be doing when you're working the pads, then I don't know how you're gonna do the same thing in the heavy bag. But it's better to watch it to make him work the heavy bag because he's picking up a bunch of bad habits that you can never see if you don't realize what you're looking for, for one. But if you, even if you do, if you're on the pads, a lot of times you can't visualize the footwork, the body, because you're just trying to hold the pads and trying to make him land. You know, you're trying to catch his punches, so you don't see the big picture a lot of times. But what I try to do is I try to do that. I try to really watch where he's going, where he's doing things right. Start that down. See, even me, I should hold the pad a little lower. Then I'm coming here. That's it. So he's going down here to the body, uppercut, head now down here. So there's a drill for you guys to go practice and uh, don't forget to comment below, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.